Welcome to Help Desk with Joe. This is show number 77. We are live here in the Patch Studios in Spencer, West Virginia. And with me, as always, Joe. Morning, fellas. And Justin. <laughs> A little bit of a letdown on Justin's. How about let's try it again? <laughs> Justin. <laughs> anyway. I know. Well, poor Justin. I mean, can you not give him a little more pep? I mean, he ha- does have the most difficult job of he, trying to keep us he does. in line. And He's uh, been here for 77 shows, and that's his fanfare. <laughs> and Justin. <laughs> <laughs> I'll work on it. <clears throat> I've been doing yours, Joe, for like nine years, though. So yeah, you know, yeah. It's had, hard to break that habit. You had plenty of time to practice. Yeah. So today, as always, for those not familiar with this uh Help Desk with Joe show. Joe, you help out general consumers, business people, everybody that has technology, and everybody has technology. We know that now, for the most part, <coughs> unless you're uh, off the grid, so to speak. Um, but, you know, general help for people with IT issues, tech issues, and so forth, and keeping everybody up to date. So we do a weekly show, and this is show 77, which means week 77, which is a long time. Yeah. Closing in on 100, Joe. I know. We're getting close. But, uh. We got a lot of good stuff going on for us today, and today's an Apple heavy day, as you mentioned before the show. Um, what's good, what are we gonna start with? Okay, so Apple update. <coughs> yeah, let's start with our Apple update. And this is just a general Apple update, right? Yeah. Yeah. Aimed towards me, right? So the lone <coughs> Apple user here. Uh, yeah. <laughs> well, the comment. Yeah, we were talking before the show, and when Joe said Apple heavy, I was like, all right, great. This is an opportunity for me to uh, entertain myself by making fun of. Justin and his Apple product, <laughs> which is his phone, which his power bank is not an Apple product, but I still like making fun of it. <laughs> That's just too good to pass I up. I try to get excited about like new uh, updates, but then you guys always spoil it for me and say, yeah, we've, we've been able to do that for years. Yeah, though. Android's <laughs> had that for a couple of years now. Welcome to the party. Well, well let me enjoy a little bit of <laughs> yeah, I, I, it. Yeah, I was watching Back to the Future yesterday and literally seen that scene where Marty McFly sitting there and Ed Sullivan show comes on. He goes, hey, I've seen that. And that kid's sitting there going, how could you see that? It's new. It's like, yep, <coughs> Apple and Android. <laughs> <laughs> nice. Okay. Well, uh, all right. Start us off this Apple update. <laughs> now so that Justin's already got his uh, little precursor of how we're going to yeah, harass him this show. Yeah, where this is going to go. So if you have an Apple iPhone or an iPad or just an Apple device in general, update your devices immediately. Okay. So there's a new Apple released an emergency software patch that after researchers uncovered a security flaw that could allow hackers to secretly install spyware on your Apple devices even without you doing anything or clicking anything. Wow, I thought the whole selling point of Apple was that it they weren't hacked because of whatever. Yeah, that's it. that's if you drink the Kool-Aid. That just went yeah. out the window. Yep. Here it is. Update Ooh. provides important security updates. <laughs> there we go. Uh, thank you, Joe. So you just potentially save me. Yeah, and All this right. one, this hey, one. Hey, let me let me check my Android here real quick. <laughs> yeah, no, there, there's no uh, there's no updates available. No, well, and there's no like emergency so update to yeah. save me from whatever. Yeah. <laughs> you I might know. already be infected. You don't even know. <laughs> <laughs> I don't think so. My phone does a pretty good job of yeah. you know keeping me up to date on what's going on here. So I'm gonna float with uh, nah. My phone's good. Your Apple, yeah, and otherwise is in trouble. Go ahead, so Jeff. folks out there, go to settings, then general, and then updates. It doesn't just tell you to update it? No. Uh, you no, have to you go you through a couple menus. Yeah, you wow. have to go find it. Yeah. I didn't even know there was one Hey, <laughs> so this is an Android. <laughs> wow. And uh, when it needs updated, it kind of puts a little notice there and says, hey. Especially if it's like an important security one. I, yes. Even unimportant ones, they just say, hey, update, and it Thanks pops up in front of it. I hear from Joe. <laughs> 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 you know. <laughs> oh, nice. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, 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 Justin's sitting there, you know, <laughs> waving the Apple flag and has to hear it from me. I think we might actually get him converted. Oh, <laughs> He's in a bad way. Just throw that thing in the creek when you go outside yeah. later. Just be like, I've had enough, Apple. <laughs> uh, so, okay, so that's extremely important. I agree. And I, I can't believe Apple doesn't push it out on the, on the phones themselves. Yeah, don't send you a notification. Yeah. I mean, I'm so spoiled by my Android. I mean, and th- not making fun of you more. I mean, I am, but I'm not. Uh, but you know, it's why that's so it. It's yeah. so easy to do, right? I mean, yeah. I'm, I'm not just thinking that this no. is overthinking that this is such a hard process to float out and just say like Android does. Hey, update. Mine harasses me to do the update. Yeah, mine does too. Like if I put it off. You know, because sometimes it's a, it wants you to be in, uh, have internet connection. Right. Yeah, be on Wi-Fi and, but, and usually plugged in charging so that way it doesn't lose yeah. power. I mean, yeah. but if I'm somewhere driving or whatever and I don't have it, 
it'll keep popping up, you know, and then it, it does. I do like it though. It'll say, uh, continue or remind me later. Right. But the remind me later is like an hour. Yeah. I don't know what the exact time is, but it doesn't seem like very long because it'll, yeah. it'll constantly remind me like that going at <laughs> fine. Let me find the internet, you know, get home in the evening and update it or here at work. But, right. Uh, but yeah, Android's very persistent about the updates. Yeah, so the, the spyware. Get some, Justin. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Apple user. Nice job. <laughs> the, the, the spyware is really scary. So it can, once it gets installed on your device, and again, it's not one of those that you click a bad link or get a bad email or anything like that. It just literally enter your device without you knowing or doing anything wow. to cause it. And it can eavesdrop or steal data from your device once installed. That's crazy. So all of Apple's operating systems, including those on iPads, their Mac devices, and Apple Watches are all vulnerable. And the University of Toronto's Citizen Lab said the zero-click flaw allowed Pegasus spyware from from Israeli hacker-to-hire firm NSO Group to infect iPhone, the iPhone of a Saudi activist by sending an image file via iMessage. The activist asked to remain anonymous. So although it's unlikely that hackers will target uh, average users, any Apple device is vulnerable and the iOS update is recommended for everyone. So if you're looking for this update on iPhones and iPads, it'll be iOS update 14.8. On Macs, it'll be update 11.6. And Apple Watches, it'll be update 7.6.2. <coughs> Hold on. So the phones are 14.8. Mac is what? Uh, 11.6. And then what was the other one? Apple Watch 7.6.2. Yeah, so, he, so talk about how easy it is to get infected. Literally, if I was the bad guy, I could send Justin an infected image, a picture of just a dog, yeah. and have that spyware in the background. Regardless if he clicks on that message or opens that message or doesn't even touch it, boom, It as soon as it lands on his phone, it's done. What was it? You said, you Justin, you go into settings and then what? General and then there's an update button. Yeah, software update. All right. One of my other friends that I make fun of a lot for having Apple, I'm sending him a text now saying major hack update. Yeah. <laughs> you got to do word of mouth, I guess. They're just yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Get our Apple presence <laughs> updated. <laughs> I feel like Paul Revere, I just need to jump in the <laughs> car after the show and just drive down Main Street. Update your iPhone. Yeah, update yeah. your iPhone. You're going to be driving around. <laughs> you just mentioned Marty McFly. You're going to be driving around like the guy with the station wagon, the speaker on top. Vote for yeah. <laughs> You say, Joe says, update your iPhone as you drive around town and back out the country roads. I like it. My gosh. That, I still I can't get past. How in the heck does Apple not push that out through their phones? Yeah, not send a notification. Ridiculous. Hey, it's ridiculous. I got to dig them a little bit for that. Yeah. Okay, we'll, after the show, we'll, we'll fix your phone. It'll be fine. Yeah. We'll, we'll show you the light. We'll, we'll, shop around for some we'll, we'll beat that phone into submission. Don't yeah. you worry. I always feel like it's door-to-door salesman. Justin, do you feel like there's something missing in your life? <laughs> but wait, there's more. Yeah. <laughs> Sign up Auto- right now. Automatic updates. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I know there's some kid listening to this going, what's a door-to-door salesman? <laughs> yeah, yeah. We're not even going to pawn off any encyclopedias or a vacuum on you. Yeah. <laughs> Jeez. Oh, gosh. Is that all there is or is there more? No, that that's it for that one. That's so okay. So recap that for everybody. Okay, so there's a huge security flaw out all on right. all Apple devices. All Apple devices. That's iPads, the key word. Yeah. I didn't catch that the first time. Yeah, Apple watches, Mac books, uh, iMac devices, iPhones, iPads. If it has an Apple logo, it's it's vulnerable. vulnerable. Okay, so all Apple users for all devices go to settings, general software update, update as soon as you can. Yes. Joe, good stuff, buddy. That's a big one. I mean, yeah. you know, you think about it. And I consider Justin to be pretty tech savvy, but, you know, you hadn't heard of that, right? So you got to hear first. Yeah, it's kind of scary on how up to the minute we're on sometimes on this news coverage. Because I, re- <coughs> I like how you include me in that because I have no idea. Well, because there was <laughs> like two years ago or last year, one or the other. Yeah. Uh, you and I did a story on something. And literally the next week, uh, well, I was over at my mom and dad's, and 
and dad was watching the news and he said hey there was something tech on the news i said well, what was it and he played the clip i was like dave and i talked about that last week <laughs> you know the crazy part is like you you talked about covid when it started yeah i'll refresh i don't know justin i don't know if justin was yeah justin wasn't here yeah, yeah, that, yeah so but you know joe came in on the show and was literally like hey there's this uh virus that hit china that's going to delay getting your phones especially like foxconn and iphones are going to be three four weeks behind and you know we don't know what's going to come out of this you know how much the delay is going to be and when you'll be able to get your phones and blah 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 and, we, and i just i remember offhandedly saying yeah phones are so important man <laughs> what a precursor joe what a bit of foreshadowing on your part you rubbed the crystal ball and hit it 100 percent on delays across the board for everything and, yeah, you know, it, if people had just listened to this show, they'd have known. Exactly. Then they wouldn't have had to rush out and stock up on toilet paper. Exactly. They, they could have bought an extra roll or two along yeah, the way. And, and just kind of eased into it. Yeah, it was funny. Whenever I moved all our podcasts over to the Anchor.fm platform, I was going back and listening to some of the episodes as I was uploading, and I got to the episode where we were first started talking about COVID. Yeah. And and you and I was sitting there talking and talking about it, and listening to it now is like you ignorant fool you had no idea how bad it was going to be <laughs> well how, how could you know but at least you knew it was coming yeah you know and it's crazy you were talking about what other technology be held up look at all the cars you yes. know the trucks being parked or where you know yeah. yeah and all the other stuff and uh what was it we were talking about um webcams yes what? yeah who, who'd have thought webcams have been so hard to get yeah well literally when people start calling us to get webcams they're like yeah good luck yeah yeah and i told cena because we just don't keep those in stock i had seen i said when's the last time we sold webcams and it yep. was to you guys when the studio yeah, was we built did studio, yeah. <laughs> and that was like three four years <laughs> beforehand i was like yeah. see that's why we don't keep them in stock oh yeah <laughs> wow. kind of crazy but good job on joe's magic crystal ball there or I, I like to think that you have one of those little eight ball things that you <laughs> shake up and <laughs> yeah. you know and you, you just sit around in the evenings like all right is the coronavirus going to affect technology mm, probably so all right <laughs> topic for tomorrow's show here we go if i could just only get it to figure out the lottery numbers i'd be good i know how many times have you shook the magic eight ball to figure that out not enough apparently <laughs> well, the problem is there's a lot of numbers that go through you'd be like is it number one yeah is it number two <laughs> What's probably so mean? Yeah. Is that a yes or a no? I don't know. Yeah, I almost feel like that Price is Right game. Uh, announcer, <laughs> do I have two numbers right? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. But I don't know what order. Yeah. <laughs> is that the Powerball? I don't know. Yeah. <laughs> All right. Well, keep trying, Joe. Okay. Whew. Holy cow. All right. What other? You got another story coming up. Yes. So Nintendo Switch. Nintendo Switch. I yes. forgot. It finally offers Bluetooth audio capability okay yeah and i thought oh, wait a minute this can't be right but apparently nintendo switch and oh it's soft for headphones that you don't have to yeah uh, i was yeah. trying to figure out what is the big deal with that yeah you can have bluetooth headphones plugged in and okay. listen to the, i'm not a gamer so i have no idea listen to the console while you play it gotcha gotcha so you can be one of those cool cats that has the headphones and the mic and well now not not yet it it only supports the audio you, it doesn't support the mic capability uh, so you can't yell at the other person you're playing with well not through the headset you know the first time i've they seen it you. have you are you guys familiar with what i'm talking about you ever seen somebody gaming like that when they oh, talk yeah. to each other okay yeah. Yeah. first time i saw that my son kale plays so he plays with his friends and the uh, first time i heard him upstairs and I, I heard oh no you know and just cheering back and forth and i thought think he's up there by himself <laughs> yeah i didn't see anybody else come in with him and uh so i walk upstairs and i look and he's got the headset on with the mic and he's yelling at his friend as they're playing yeah like they're battling each <laughs> other and they're sitting there talking smack and you know just harassing each other and i'm yeah. i was like how wild is that yeah because it used to be you would walk upstairs and there'd be a whole room of kids yeah everybody piled in and yeah. uh you know they played their games together yeah but now and the really funny part was that when you had a friend over to play, they went in separate rooms so their mics wouldn't overlap and they could still talk to each other. But they had to be separated because if they were like we are, right. you know, everything would bleed over yeah. and it would resonate back and forth, I yeah. guess, and echo, and they didn't like it. So they both went to separate rooms to play together. <laughs> I was like, you got to be kidding me. <laughs> yeah. Because I look and I'm like, Braden, why are you in that? What are we doing here? You know? And, yeah. and they're just like, we can't sit beside each other because. Yeah. And, and I was like, <laughs> they're social distancing. I know. I was like, it is craziness. 
So this is where we're at. But yeah, they figured it out. It's kind of wild. They can, you know, the, the kids play with people all over the country, which is scary. Yes. We had a long talk about internet safety and, you know, not sharing personal information and right. blah, blah, blah. Because, I mean, you never know. Uh, you know, you get these creeper 40 year old guys. Mm-hmm. Yeah. It's funny. It's always like a 40 year old guy. I'm a 40 year old guy. <laughs> uh oh. <laughs> <laughs> but you know what I mean? It's, right, always, yeah. it's always that thing. Yeah. I remember we showed when we did our character ed stuff with the kids back 10 years ago. We showed a little video that was pretty neat. It had all these guys in a classroom and some ladies. It had adults in a classroom and they were talking about um it was like a spoof like a saturday night live spoof type deal yeah and they're like okay let's go over you know internet uh screen names and stuff like that and he's like you picked an interesting one and the guy's like yeah you know um uh, hot stuff 98 you know or or 2000 yeah it was 98 or something like that and he's like when were you born he's like oh 72 and he's like Why'd you pick 98? Oh, uh, just, you know, random favorite number, you know. And, but he was making it out because a lot of people use a birth date. Right. As part of their screen name. And he was making it out that he was like a 17-year-old. Yeah. He's like, is it purposeful that, you know, you might indicate you're 17? It's like, oh, no, of course not. You yeah. Know? <laughs> 98, just love that number for some reason. <laughs> yeah. And so it's just, you know, they went through all these scenarios, uh, you know, and, of course, some of them were, like, with opposite genders. You know, it'd have, right. a, it'd have a guy with a girl's name. Yeah. And a girl with a guy's name, yeah. and they're like, "Why do you have, you know, Sally, ninety five? And Miss the guy's Kitty. like, "Oh, that's just my favorite teacher growing up, of course, you know." Yeah, and, yeah. You know, and, <laughs> and so it went through all these spoof things, but just internet safety. But anyway, now, question, Joe. Okay. Now, is this gonna, if you have an Nintendo Switch right now, it's suddenly gonna have this capability, or you gotta go out and buy a new one? No, no, it comes out in a update. Uh, Nintendo. That it would be like. Of yeah, how do they have the parts in there, but it's not working? Well, they, they've had the Bluetooth capability. That's part of the, the, the console itself. That's how the controllers work and stuff like that. Wow. But they just always never turned... They ne- they just never turned on the capability in the software to pair with headphones. Huh. So, here, so they announced it on Twitter, and the Switch now has the ability to pair with Bluetooth devices for audio output. After updating, you'll now see a Bluetooth audio sec section under settings as well as a new status indicator that shows whether a pair of headphones is connected now it's going to change a little bit on how your console works but it's nothing to freak out over so the new feature only works with devices again with output audio output only so it does not support microphone input via bluetooth you can only pair your switch with two controllers at once while using bluetooth audio so you'll have to disconnect your your audio device if you want to uh, play in an eight player battle with your friends. So if you have eight friends over and everybody wants to hook their controllers up, you're not going to be able to, one person uses headphones and all eight players use their controllers. Gotcha. Wow. <coughs> so the, the Switch can support up to 10 Bluetooth devices and only one can connect to the console at a time. In addition, you can't use wireless headphones or earphones when you play uh, local wireless multiplayer games. And the switch will automatically cut your connection huh. if you do just as a safety thing in the in the programming. Nice. Well, it so sounds like a good update. I'm kind of yeah. baffled, like Justin, that they'd have the capability and they'd wait this long before they roll it out. Yeah, but it's one of those I can kind of understand because Nintendo's always big on quality. So I'm wondering if they wanted to make sure that if they flipped that switch on. It wasn't. It wouldn't interfere with your controllers, or it would drop your controller connection. I mean, they're they're really big on quality control. So yeah. I, it's one of those. I'm like you guys. I don't know why they waited this long, but I can also understand it from a quality standpoint. Huh. Interesting. All right. Well, good good stuff there for uh, Nintendo Switch users. Is that a, how big a platform is that? It's huge. Really? Yes. As, as big as like Xbox yep. and PlayStation. Yeah. Wow. Yeah, when, when shutdown first hit, yeah, the Nintendo Switch was the first console that was hard to find. Wow. People selling them for $2,000 on eBay. It, it was going for crazy, like almost t- two to three times more than what. And it's something, is it like a three or $400 system? Yeah. At yeah. The store? Okay. Yeah. They actually have two different versions. They have the Switch Lite starts at 199 That's an online only where you don't buy the actual game cartridges. You just download everything. 
and then for an extra hundred dollars you can get the actual switch that you can download or buy the the, the cards for huh okay i'm not into any of those that you know <laughs> i have no idea okay anything else we need to know no that's uh, that hey, updates go connect your bluetooth headphones and have at it gamers there you go yeah gonna make some uh kids and adults out there extremely happy i'm so. saying to the to the parents that no longer will have to listen to the, the switch <laughs> music in the background you're welcome you're welcome yeah that is a big <laughs> one there you go huh and it, you know psa for the day use common sense for cyber issues well i think we're yeah that common sense is hard to find nowadays that's one of those where we have to go in deep detail <laughs> oh and I, there's a new story i will not bring it up on the air because oh gosh all right anyway we'll b run this person through the coals but cyber, I'll, cyber. I'll, I'll let you guys up i'll let you guys know at off air okay yeah well so anyway it was cyber com, safety was no common sense involved yeah that happens a lot <laughs> cyber safety is very important talk with your kids about it reinforce with them not to share personal information regardless of how long they've been talking to someone because right now a lot of predators online yeah. it's so easy kids have phones remember parents your kids phones are a gateway to everything a so everything and, and you've covered this in a show before bark is a hundred dollars a year or whatever it's yes. super cheap for what it does <coughs> i've used it with my kids get bark yeah i was actually talking to my sister-in-law over the weekend over and i was like here you know you have two teenage kids yeah this is yeah it's almost a must-have in a parent's toolkit yeah i agree all right, well, you got to, speaking of that, TikTok. Yeah, it's a Chinese owned company. It's still Chinese owned. Yeah, it's funny. We did not talk about this before the show, but talking about online safety. Are you back on TikTok? Yes. Well, me, no. Oh, okay. No. I, again, uh, you uh, and I are yeah. diehard non TikTok users. Yeah, Justin, I, do you have TikTok? No, I don't. Right. I, I quit that cold turkey and. Yeah. I, I watched, you know, I tell a story. I will admit that i tried to go back and download it the other day because i found this comedian oh boy he's a school principal you got sucked back in almost no no almost almost oh boy the, it, there's a school principal that he just does these little <sighs> comedy videos of like yeah. your typical what your typical teacher or school counselor would deal with he's hilarious well, i was wanting to find him on tiktok because there was one video i was trying to find yeah but luckily i went and found it on facebook and i didn't so i didn't uninstalled have, tiktok didn't yeah nice. i didn't have to all right I cold, know just to cold, get cooking cold turkey uh, yeah. implies that you had a bit of a TikTok addiction. addiction yeah, yeah. Hey, there's yeah. a lot of TikTok junkies out there. Yeah, yeah, because it's in in what's bad. It's scary. It's like it's designed to, for that. Yeah, because the, the the clips are only a minute long, yeah. and my short attention span loves that kind of <laughs> stuff. Squirrel. Yeah. So you you can just scroll to the point where all of a sudden there's a video that pops up and goes, hey. We know you've been on here for a little bit. Why don't you take a break? It's like, nope. No oh, gosh. <laughs> I'm just going to bypass that safety Yeah, because I do it, like, at night right before I go to bed, just kind of wind down. Yeah. And, like, an hour and a half later, like, oh, yeah, this Ooh. this is not good. Yeah. All right, well, give us your TikTok update. So, we're talking about online safety, and it kind of coincides with this next news story. So, TikTok launches a mental health guide after reports of Instagram's impact on teens. So, Instagram uh, announced within the last week that uh, a study that they was doing that shows that their platform has really caused a lot of depression and mental health issues in teens. Really? Social yes. media causes attention deficit disorder and, well, and depression, and, depression and, 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 and loneliness? Yes. And anxiety? Yes. Wow. Yeah. Uh, yeah. That's sarcasm on my part. Yeah. I've and, been talking about that. For, that's been my soapbox for like 10 years now. Yeah. As the old hillbilly saying is, who to thunk it? <laughs> mm -hmm. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> so for parents out there watching this show, yes, it is all true. They've done massive studies on it. Uh, they're, the Social Dilemma documentary covers it very well and uses examples that are very understandable. And uh, there's several books out now that talk about it. Yeah. The Social Dilemma, that is a very informative documentary. Yeah. But... It's kind of like a docudrama. Yes, but that documentary has gotten me uh, almost put in Facebook jail. Well, I believe it. All because I posted, yeah. check out this movie, or this documentary. I did not say one way or the other. Right, I literally right. just said, check this out. And and Facebook deleted the post. Yeah, well, you're going against the, what they do. Yeah. Yeah, so, you know, you have all these people say, oh, there's... There's no such thing as a social media trying to silence you, blah, blah, blah. 
Yeah, yeah. And, it, and I wasn't talking anything political. Yeah, <laughs> right. Yeah, there's a lot of soapboxes people can get on now and get you Facebook jailed. Yeah. But, you know. Yeah, anyway. Look, so here's some information maybe we should think about. No, you <laughs> can't uh, encourage people to, like, consider some things. Yeah. Yeah, you, you, not you, allowed. Yeah, you can't form your own opinions. <laughs> yeah. So, TikTok. Uh, TikTok. Yes. TikTok shared a handful of new features on Tuesday designed to support users' mental well-being, including guides on how to engage with people who may be struggling and updated warning labels on, for sensitive content. The changes come as Facebook's research into... Hold on. Okay. Just to clarify, TikTok sent out a safety issue that you would solve by not using TikTok. Yes. How interesting is that? <laughs> Listen, you'll be better off by just not using our program here because it is addictive and it is going to cause you problems. Is that kind of like your drug dealer giving you a shot of Narcan too? Like, yeah, yeah. I mean, yeah it's, well, I mean, like buy a pound of this and here get a free Narcan. While they you're they at want it. you to stay alive though, so you can keep eating. Right. Have you ever seen Thank You for Smoking? Yeah. No. Oh gosh. That's a good one. That's a good. Is it a good one? Yeah. Uh, John Hamm. Yeah. Think? Well, I, I was surprised too, Joe, that Instagram would uh, release the findings of a study that basically goes against those rules. Yeah, I, I was shocked too when I seen. It. I was like, whoa, 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 back, back, back it up here. Well, and so thank you for smoking. It's it's a movie about smoking, obviously, mm -hmm. tobacco, big tobacco, and one of the parts in the movie has this guy, that, this young teenager that's you know has cancer from smoking. And they have this guy that he's the smooth talker for the tobacco industry. He goes in and puts out fires. And he's on this talk show. And they got all these women's right or women uh, advocates for cancer, stop cancer, and a couple of guys. And one of the guys is on there is from a senator's office. And he's like an aide. And they're like, oh, they all pile out again. Like, this is a slam dunk. We're going to eat this guy's lunch. You know, and he sits there and the first thing he says, like, hey, you know, sorry to say this, but this group wants him to die. I want him to stay alive. I want him to live and smoke until he's 90. So that's how, you know, I'm selling my product. I want him to buy it until he's 90. If yeah. he dies, I get nothing. Yeah. yeah. He goes, but if he dies, these people keep their jobs. And they get to continue to get government money to advocate for not smoking. He goes, so really, I'm on his side. These people waiting for him to die so they can use him as a martyr. And the kid's like, what? They want, they want me to die? <laughs> you know, and talk show host says, that's an interesting perspective. And all of them are like, we don't want him to die. And he's like, well, if he doesn't die and he lives and smokes till he's 90, what are you going to do for work? Yeah. And they're all like, uh. Yeah. Oh, wow. Yeah, and the, the senator talks to his aide afterward. He's like, what were you doing? He's like, this guy's so smart. I don't know. He just, you know <laughs> next thing you know, we're wanting this, this kid to die, and he, it just turned it around on us. Yeah. And uh, So anyway, that's what this sounds like. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> in it, there you go. Justin, we, we where are you at on this? We don't want you to get too depressed to where you don't use Instagram ever again. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Just a little bit. I mean. Yeah. So the changes come as <sighs> Facebook's research into its own photo sharing app, Instagram, which last year launched uh, TikTok competitor Reels, has reportedly raised concerns about Instagram's impact on mental health of teens. So TikTok <sighs> uh, said in its blog that while we do quote, while we don't allow content that promotes or glorifies or normalizes suicide, self-harm, or eating disorders, we do support people who choose to share their experiences to raise awareness, help others who might be struggling, and some find support in our community, end quote. To more safely support these conversations and connections, TikTok is rolling out a new well-being guide to help people share their personal experiences on the video app. The guides were developed along with the International Association for Suicide Prevention, Crisis Text Line, Live for Tomorrow, Samaritans of Singapore, and Samaritans in the UK, and they're available on TikTok's Safety Center. Or Safety Center. Nice, and that's, you know, the, I, I downplay a lot of social media, but that is kind of the good part of it. People that have a good platform do have a place to share it. Yes. You know, and, and it's kind of, and I joke a lot about saying, oh, you got this technology in your hand and it's not always the best thing for you. But honestly, there are those parts where, you know, if you do need help, my gosh, pick up that little thing that sits in the palm of your hand that's just full of information. Yeah, it, It's kind of a double-edged sword. It is, it is. You know, so the help is there for you. You can always, you know, look up whatever, Google whatever problems you're having and somebody out there will have shared 
good information, not not always reliable information, but right. at least well, that, that's where you, you can you do, can filter through. Yeah, you can do your homework and, and check yeah. multiple sources. And if you hear that you see the same thing on ten different websites, then yeah, yeah, it's probably safe, pretty right. safe idea. Well, and you know, and you make sure you go to the right to real organizations. You right. Know, if you, um, I just remember, you know, the big thing used to be billboards, TV ads, T-shirts. You know, people had to see it because, like, we had elder abuse here in the Committee on Aging. Well, now elder abuse doesn't have to, you know, pass out T-shirts to seniors and, and uh, work that hard on them, which, I mean, hey, seniors love T-shirts. Not a big deal there. But, you know, in the palm of your hand, seniors walk around with their smartphones. They can look up information as well. Right. So it's there at your fingertips if you need it. That's right. the good news. The bad news is it's there at your fingertips if you don't need it. <laughs> right. And you'll find something else to get into. Right. So the social video app is also sharing a new safety center guide for teens, educators, and caregivers about eating disorders. The guide was developed along with experts like the National Eating Disorders Association, National Eating Disorder Information Center, Butterfly Foundation, and BodyWise, and offers information, support, and advice. Earlier this year, TikTok added a feature that directs users to searching for terms related to eating disorders to appropriate resources. So, in addition, when someone searches for uh, certain trigger words like self-harm or anything right. like that they're pointed to a local support resource like a crisis text line helpline to help find information and treatment and support nice so hats off to TikTok. yeah granted we do give uh social media in general a lot of flack and and a lot of uh, uh we've seen a lot of fire their way over this oh, yeah. over just the nonsense but TikTok is and we've talked about TikTok a lot TikTok is one of those where they know that their platform is addicting. Yeah. I can well, speak from first-hand experience. Every social media platform is addicting. Oh, that's, absolutely. That's, that's what they're least, based on. But the thing of it is TikTok's open, honest about it. Yeah. Who would have thought? You yeah. Know, and I'll go back to, you know, just a year ago, we were trying to force them to sell to an American company. Portion, right. Yeah, so that they could be safer. And here they're already doing their homework. Right. And they're already putting it into play before right. our American companies are. Right. So shame on those companies. They need to take a little page out of the book here and do some due diligence. Up, up their game a little bit. I have teenagers. And, Joe, you, you have you know a daughter, of course, so it's personal for me as well. But right. also I see it in the community. I see it that nothing uh, – and if you, you're wondering why it's such a big soapbox for me, here's the challenge I'll throw out to everybody. Go in, The next time you go out to eat, just look around and see how many people, instead of having face-to-face -face contact with their family or their friends – are playing on their phones. Yes. And you'd be amazed. It's scary. It is scary. So, and if you want to do a little bit more research, Johan Yeri wrote a book called Lost Connections, and it talks about the link between loneliness, anxiety, and depression, and how face-to-face uh, -face contact, which, you know, during COVID, this is just makes it more of a exactly. issue. Exactly. Uh, face-to-face contact is the biggest precursor to not having loneliness, anxiety, and depression. Right. Phones exorbitate that and make it worse. So oh, absolutely! I remember when go out shutdown, <laughs> when the shutdown first hit. I was sitting at home scrolling through Facebook. Oh gosh, because and I literally yeah. could feel my my uh, my mental status. I was getting depressed because yeah. it was just nothing but bad news, oh, yeah. and and everybody just quarreling back and forth. And this person sick, and this per I mean, it's not gotten any. Be it's not gotten yeah. any better here lately. But when it was to the point, I stayed off all social media platforms like yeah. four days. It That's was like there's literally no value here. I'm getting I feel my yep. I feel ang my anxiety rising yeah just it's yeah. not worth my time right that's I gave up TV and then uh, and then cut way about going so like I don't do Instagram or snapchat or right. TikTok or anything. I do do I do keep Facebook right but I try to limit my usage of it oh yeah I you know my friend group is down probably a hundred if that I mean Joe you're lucky that you're even able to like understand what was yeah. going on a lot of you're aware of it which is Say, oh, I feel like crap today, and not really put two and two together as what's causing it or anything. Just yeah, yeah, it, yeah. They go on Facebook and and get depressed and going. Well, I don't know what else to do. Oh, I'll go back to Facebook. Yeah, and it's just, I'm bored, so I just cycle it, back through. It, yeah, it's a vicious cycle of just. That's what I caught myself doing. You know, you mentioned going to bed. I got to where I would check Facebook before I went to bed, and the next thing I know, a half hour would go by because I'm just mindlessly scrolling through stuff. Right. And then get up in the morning, check Facebook. You know, get bored at work, check Facebook. You know, they've done a lot of studies on like how much Facebook has hurt productivity in the business world. It's a killer. Oh my gosh, it's unreal. 
So anyway, so I, like I had to do what you did, Joe. Yeah, I think like most companies are, if they implement some sort of, here's the sites you can and can't go on, yeah. that's top the, of the, the list. The schools they, blocked Facebook because yeah. teachers were, and and students were just wearing it out. And that was, that's been 10 years ago. Right. But uh, smartest thing. Anyway. Well, TikTok's blazing the trail a little bit, and hopefully, yeah. like Facebook and other social media companies will say, Wow, that's a good idea. Let's let's do that too. If somebody's searching for self harm or anything like that, yeah, give them a number they can call for help. All that sort of thing. Right, and and hats off to TikTok to not only put out this information, but they actually went to reliable sources themselves and say, hey, how can we implement this and make this right? Now, just to play the devil's advocate here. Okay, is there anything in there they're doing that's sketchy? Like, is there a reason they're doing this? Is it going to increase profits somehow, or are they just taking yeah. the bullet to be the image, bad, good guy out of it? I, I, I don't mean, know. Hmm. I just wonder, because, you know, you never know. It's, right. it's rare that a company, you know, it'd be another example would be like a car company or whatever saying, hey, my, my product's you know, going to cause you to wreck and probably die, but, you know, here you go. I'm selling to you anyway. Well, okay, so here's how my thought That's process probably goes. Is example, they're probably making money. They knew about Facebook studying Instagram. Yeah. So TikTok saying, hey, we know that the results of this story is going to come out bad on Instagram. To get ahead of it. Why don't we get ahead of it? And then when they drop the, when the other foot drops on yeah. Instagram that says, shows how bad it, it is, we can come up and say, hey, no, 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 we, we're, we're here to place. help. You yeah, know, that is a smart <laughs> motive because now where I was against TikTok, Right. Now I'm like, maybe they're not so bad. Right. So it's already working. Not that I'm going to download TikTok. Right. But at least I feel a little better about it. Right. Yeah, at least you're seeing that they're <laughs> putting the forethought into. Yeah, they need to work a little harder, though, to get me to actually on board. <laughs> I'm just thinking, not that my opinion matters because I don't use it either way. But, uh, hey, I feel better about it. <laughs> well, you've seen firsthand the negative results of TikTok. Uh, wasn't it TikTok where Kale figured out how to try to beam a golf ball like a baseball oh yeah and broke a sure. club yeah <laughs> broke his golf club yeah jeez yeah that probably was tiktok i don't know where he was but <laughs> so justin just so you know he yeah. saw a video where they throw the golf ball up and yeah. then they swing really hard and hit it out of the air he did that and he hit, hit the shaft yeah. of his club and broke his club so that cost him a smooth hundred and yeah. some dollars I refused to pay for it. I was like, would have looked cool, though, if, it, if he pulled it off. That's the funny part. He was videoing it, yeah. you know, trying to do the same thing. Yeah. I was like, yep, yeah, that's your money going down there, buddy. <laughs> $100 video you just made. Yep. Up. Hope you're getting some coin back off of the, <laughs> the interweb. Yeah. So does TikTok uh, monetize at all? Do they pay people who get tons of likes? I think they've started to. Oh. Um, I don't know. I haven't researched that to see. Would they be called influencers or is that something different? Yeah, I think that falls under the influencer umbrella. Huh. That's or crazy. TikTokers, like there's TikTokers. YouTubers and those people yeah. that make lots of money on YouTube. Yeah. It's amazing how people can make money doing YouTube. Like, you know, the van life people and uh, yeah. people that sell yachts or whatever, sell boats around the ocean. I don't know. It's crazy how people are doing that now. And here we are. <laughs> <laughs> Why are, why is our videos not going off that on that? Uh, Come on, Joe, you're alright. You well, make some edits. I, I I I have studied this. I've researched this, and okay. they said your first thousand followers is our hardest to get, and then yeah. after that, it just kind of snowballs. So we're never ever going to get there. Oh no, we have like two hundred. Yeah, but we're getting there. Yeah. <sighs> Another five years. Well, we're in a niche. We're in a niche market. I mean, we're yeah. not sitting here setting stuff on fire. Now, if we start setting stuff on fire, I guarantee we get more followers. Thanks for planting that seed in Justin's head. <laughs> he's like, okay, got it. Next show, <laughs> something's gonna catch on fire. Yeah. <laughs> oh boy. Anyway, well, and that's the problem. Yeah, we're not entertaining people necessarily. I mean, I'm sure it is entertaining to some people, but right. especially Cena. But um, you know, you're giving out good information that people need to hear. So that's not wildfire stuff that's gonna spread amongst teenagers right and we we try not to be li like the it's probably isn't even the teenager market i'm assuming our crowd's older right and of course like we try we don't try to be the the national media platforms where it's all yeah. boring and bad news we try to entertain while we educate i wondered what we were trying to do here that makes sense <laughs> all right now that i'm on board with the plan we spice it up a little yeah <laughs> and justin please yeah. don't say anything on fire <laughs> now <laughs> don't take that as a subliminal hint that yeah. the interweb needs you setting stuff on fire yeah yeah, this is a team effort. <laughs> <laughs> we all set stuff on fire, or none of us set stuff yeah, on fire. I, I'm for the no fire, just so we know, just so we're clear. 
All right. Well, you got a tip of the week for us? Yes. So this week, uh, we're going to talk about Apple announced had a keynote announcement yesterday. They was announcing new products. So Another Apple story. Yeah. So Justin's going to be all excited. Is he? Yes. Yeah. Uh, in regards to the new iPhone, the 13? Yes. Oh, boy. Yeah. The, we have, we're going to talk about the new iPhones, new iPads, and the new Apple Watch. New products coming out that will update you when you go find the update yourself. Exactly. Congratulations. <laughs> <laughs> oh, boy. I, d- I, d- I don't understand how iPhones are still a thing when they're that far behind Android. Yeah, I guess. How do you talk somebody into buying them? Well, I, I mean, I know people do, but. Here's, a, here's what I tell my buddy all the time. Because he goes, well, iPhone does so much better. I said, listen, if it wasn't for Android, y'all wouldn't have anything to copy. <laughs> yeah. And, you know, <laughs> it, as far as I can tell, the only thing that's really a bonus for iPhones is like the FaceTime app. And the ability to, I guess, iMessage carries a little bit of weight, like we'll work in certain situations. Oh, yeah, because that's who he throws in my face all the time. You green bubble. He, because Cena has an iPhone and I have an Android, so when he tries to text, it turns it into a regular text message. So I'm a green bubble, not a blue bubble, and that's that's a big... Yeah. But, I mean, is that what's is there an actual advantage to the iPhone with the texting? The or iMessage, yes, with the iMessage you can... It works like Facebook Messenger. You don't have to have a cell phone. Connect, you don't have to be connected to a cell phone tower. It, it just sends it over the internet. Can work over Wi-Fi. Right. So really, there's not because you could always just Facebook message it. Well, not everybody has Facebook. This is true. Huh. Okay. Yeah. Well, they could get Messenger. It's its own now. Uh, I guess you gotta have Facebook though. Yeah, but I'm I'm thinking like my parents don't have Facebook and um and that's a whole other issue. <laughs> it's just much easier. You just don't want to spend the time to teach them. Well, they don't want to learn. They don't want Facebook. They don't want it, yeah. So I'm not going to open that ball of wax. And, well, it's it is Facebook, but it's not. I'm not going down that road. Gotcha. It's they'll just, want it as soon as you start posting all these fun things with Sadie on there. Well, they already see that. It's no big deal. But right, right. But I just mean it's so cool. Right. My my mom and really enjoys going on Facebook and like our soccer stuff and she likes to like it she likes to comment and say oh those are my grandkids anyway you're welcome <laughs> well it's like my mom she'll go on facebook but she does have an account yeah so it's like mom you could do so much more but i don't want an account i don't want to add friends and I, you don't yeah. have to add friends oh yeah and just it's tip for everybody out there do an incognito account just make up something and and go you don't have to man that's terrible that's cyber safety 101 <sighs> <laughs> so start up an account, but don't friend anybody, and you can still go do whatever you want. Right. And then you can there see all go. the ads that we complain about every week. Yeah. <clears throat> this is true. Your phone's listening. <sighs> A whole other issue. Oh, all right. All so right. So anyway, back to the tip of the week. Yeah, Where so you at on that one, Justin? So, yeah. so let's see. If, so let's see if we can spend some of Justin's money here. Okay. All right. So first like thing it. we're going to talk about is the new iPads that were announced. Okay. So. Apple is releasing a new iPad as well as they brought back the iPad minis. So here's the specs on each. The i the regular iPads going to they're going to start at $329 and here's the updates. They've updated the front facing camera from 8 megapixels to tw- to a 12 megapixel ultra lot ultra wide lens. And it also is going to have a feature called center stage. And this feature was debuted on the iPad Pro, and it automatically reframes the front-facing video to keep your face centered as you move around the room. So, for I, and I don't know, apparently this was a pretty popular feature. Yeah. That, and I'm assuming it's like a school setup where a teacher could set her iPad up in her classroom, and she could move around, around, and it would still yeah. just follow her face. I was going to say, if my face goes out of frame, I'm pretty sure everybody's like, oh, thank you. <laughs> <laughs> but, Joe, you got a face for video, so, you know. Well, uh, they'd be like, keep that handsome devil's face in frame. Well, I don't know if I, I don't know about that, but just keep the mask on. <laughs> <laughs> you so know, people seem to like me a lot more now that I got a mask on. <laughs> like, man, I can tolerate. And, and you thought it was the social. Di- looks, and now. you thought it was for social distancing. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so if you want the the new iPad, orders started yesterday, and they're going to start shipping next week. Wow. So the iPad Mini. Here's the updates on it. The, they have bumped up the screen on the new iPad Mini. It was a 7.9 inch screen. Now it's an 8.3 inch screen. Okay. And the CPU is 40% faster. The, G, the graphics on it is 80% faster. 
And here's the big kicker, and I have not talked to my buddy Greg about this, and I am gonna, I'm gonna let him have it both barrels. Apple, here's Apple's. This is new. Yeah. <laughs> here's the Marty McFly moment. <laughs> it ha it has USB C charging. Ooh. No more lightning connector. <laughs> How nice is that? <laughs> Very nice. So there will also be a 5G model coming soon. The back camera has been bumped up to a 12 megapixel camera with true tone flash and as well as as with the standard iPad the front camera is also being bumped up to the 12 megapixel ultra wide lens with center stage support and it also supports supports the second generation Apple pencil and the price point on this starts at $499 nice and the orders start yesterday and they're going to start shipping out next week on those as well so they're able to manage the chip shortage situation, I guess. Uh, about, as about as best as anybody yeah. else. And it's one of those, you know, they'll probably have 100,000 to ship out where they typically probably have a quarter of a million. I, I don't know those those are just numbers I'm pulling out of the air, mm -hmm. but they've pr they're probably like the rest of us, just trying to manage as best they can. So the next device, yeah. the Apple Watch Series 7. And here's the, the upgrades on it. The, the display on it is now 20% bigger, and it's going to have swipe-style prediction keyboard for easier text input on the go. And if if you're not familiar with that, a again, Android's had it for years. Instead of sitting typing the actual keyboard, you can swipe your finger across the keyboard, and it does pretty good on trying to predict what you're typing. Yeah. And Apple says it has the strongest and most crack-resistant display to date, and is the first Apple Watch that is actually IP6X rated, certified against dust. Really? So, yes. That's almost just like military standards almost? Or? Yes, yes. Yeah. And Same with drop resistance, I wonder, or no? Uh, well, they said the screen is super tough. Yeah, more screen. crack resistant. Yeah. So, and it also has an updated charging architecture and a new USB-C charger. <gasps> really? Yeah. So, is this going to be enough to really turn the tide? Well, they kind of had to. What's special about the USB-C? It's standard. Standard, yeah. And you don't have to have the special iPhone adapter anymore. Yeah, so, so now if you had a new iPad, the charger I use for my laptop and my phone, I can charge your iPad at the same time, or you know, as well. Yeah. So... Uh, and it's the USB-C charger also charges faster, so it allow 33% faster charge. Really? <laughs> yes. Man. Yep. Welcome to the game, iPad. <laughs> so the Series 7 watch will start at $399 and will start shipping later this fall. Whew. So now we're down to the phones, and Apple announced four new <coughs> phones yesterday. Do they have the C charger? Not yet. Oh. oh, yeah. Oh, never mind. Well, now they got they got. Well, they still had some. <laughs> they had, were doing well, they, so good. For well, a they minute. had the surplus of lightning connector ports laying around. They had to do something with them. They just couldn't throw them away. Uh, throw them away. My gosh. Well, that kind of goes against their whole green initiative. <laughs> yeah, they're green. All right, check out Foxconn. <laughs> so th the first two phones we're going to talk about is the iPhone 13 and 13 Mini. And they're both going to offer a ceramic shield front, which Apple says is tougher than any other smartphone's glass. It's IP68 water resistant, 28% brighter display, and the iPhone 13 comes in at 6.1 inches, while the 13 mini is at 5.4 inches. And they're going to start with 128 gig of storage. And the price point on this, do you guys want to take a wild shot in the dark on this uh, one? It's got to be... At which one? Uh, the 13 and the 13 mini. We got a guess for the prices. They're yes. at least a thousand dollars. I think the mini will be under 500. Yeah, that's true. They did roll out that one that was trying to be competitive with middle of the road. Right. So yeah, I'll say 600 and a thousand. Okay. So uh, the 500 and 1100. Okay. <laughs> you guys are off. <laughs> really? Yeah. So the 13. Uh, iPhone 13 is going to start at $799. Okay. And the mini is going to start at $699. That's not a big difference. Yeah, I know. Huh. 
Now you're. I was close on the mini. I said six hundred. Yeah. Now, now we're getting into. I'd have won both of those on prices right. Just so yeah. you know. Yeah, Jonathan. you'd have won both prizes. That's right. <laughs> As above your low price and below your high price. So now we're going to talk about the 13 Pro and the 13 Max, and the, these the, these two model iPhones are also yeah. getting the ceramic shield front treatment. You'd have won this one, Justin. I bet they're both over a thousand easy. Oh yeah. So the this one features three cameras on the back, a telephoto lens with 3x optical zoom, an ultra wide, and a wide angle, and it also offers night mode. Will now play I'm just going to throw this out there. Three cameras. That was so Android 19, 2019. <laughs> I mean, come on. I think, let me look at my phone here. Yeah, my phone has three cameras. Yeah. Plus the front one, which is four. Three. So, you know, my <laughs> phone's at least two and a half years old, maybe three. <laughs> yeah. All right, sorry. Go ahead, John. So night mode will now play friendly with all three cameras, incre including the telephoto lens, which previously it did not support. And the screen sizes on these, the Pro, the iPhone 13 Pro is going to come in at 6.1 inches. And the iPhone 13 Pro Max is going to be 6.7 inches. Is that where does that fall as far as like standard? That's about about, about the same size as about everybody oh else. Yeah. Okay. Uh, and if you did not have enough storage before on your iPhone, they're now releasing the one terabyte models in this on the in the 13 Pro and the 13 Pro Max. Hmm. So just one what terabyte. The, you know what the, wow. The largest capacity before that was. Uh, 512. Okay. Wow, the double. Yeah. All right, so you guys ready to play the prices right on these prices? Uh, yep. Okay, so... Uh, so so Max, obviously. Is the yeah, the Max is the bigger one. So so Pro and then the Pro Max. Man, Max has got to be 1900. What? Really? And Pro, I'm going to go 1100. All right, Dave. <laughs> Uh, I'm gonna give this one to Justin since I whipped him in the last one. <laughs> and your ears not gonna say? No, I'm, I'm saying they're both over a thousand easy. Okay, so the Pro starts at a thousand dollars, nine hundred ninety-nine dollars. Bam! I'm and the Pro one. Max, the Pro Max starts at a thousand ninety-nine. Why are they so cheap? Well, I mean they are like three years behind Android. So never mind. Never mind. <laughs> well, I mean, I understand you. So, iPhone used to be the whole, you're going to pay more because we're special. Yeah. And yeah. now they're like, well, you're going to pay about the same because we're three years behind. Right. <laughs> yeah. yeah. And we don't give you updates. You're right. welcome. Well, we give them to you. You just got to find them. Well, yeah, that's all I mean. You got to hear about it on the street. <laughs> <laughs> you got to listen to Help Desk with Joe to get all your iPhone <laughs> update information. And he's an Android user. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> the hits just keep on coming. <laughs> Everybody out there, you're welcome. <laughs> That's why Joe is internet famous right there. <laughs> He's the king of the interweb. So pre-orders start, uh, oh they actually start Friday, and the shipping will start on you the You got to pre-order this stuff? Yep. Oh, my goodness. Now, and I've got one last update. Uh, mm. iOS 15 will be coming on September 20th. This is the new version of the iOS operating system. And, Justin, what model phone do you have? 6S. Okay, then this will apply to you. So... Uh, here's some of the new bells and whistles coming in iOS 15. The biggest change of iOS 15 is a new feature called focus mode. So it's kind of a polished version of the do not disturb mode. So you can configure it for various modes. You can choose apps and people you want notifications from and change your focus depending on what you're doing. For instance, you can create a work mode, a sleep mode, a workout mode, so on and so forth. So you can set up, okay, during work time, these people can contact me. If I'm not at work, I don't want anybody at, from the office contacting me. Gotcha. Or y they can contact me, but my phone I don't want my phone to ding. I don't want my phone to ring. I want no sound. We I already have that. Oh, yeah, this is true. Okay, just checking. <laughs> I know mine has, like, sleep mode and all that stuff. Right. It's, I've been using it for, like, a year and a half. Can you <laughs> actually set up a list of these people specifically? Absolutely, yeah. And different types of modes? Yeah, because I had mine set up where... If you're not in my contact list, my phone won't uh, my phone will ring, but I don't hear a noise. It doesn't vibrate. Yeah, the screen just lights up. Apple's had that for a while too. Yeah, six months at least. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> but it's been pretty limited. It's like, oh, if you're on my favorites list, your call will come through when it's on. But otherwise, no. Right. But not like oh, different groups. This group. Yeah. You, you couldn't time. categorize it before. Well, welcome to uh, you know. 
2019. <laughs> You're getting there. <laughs> Apple will eventually catch up. Yeah, do you th- this uh, has been a fun show. I just like harassing Justin <laughs> with his iPhone deal. And it, it's crazy because his iPhone is really old. So if I had an iPhone 5, I, this, I wouldn't be able to get this update. Either. Right, right. Yeah. Right. How, right under the yeah, how old is your phone? Oh, about 15 years, I think. I don't know. Well, it's pretty, it, for a 6S, it, it ha- it's a little long than the 2. Because we're up, well, it's probably about 7 years old because we're at 13 now. Really? Well, no, they... they September 2015. There we go. So you've so had it for years. 7 years, 6 well, years? Well, no, I, I didn't get it new. It was probably a couple years old when I got it. Oh, jeez. Now, they're also going to update their Maps app. What a way to get an iPhone game. <laughs> Buy a used one. This well, is like your power bank. Well, <laughs> well, okay, well you heard the price. Uh, but in Justin's defense, you heard the price points on the new one, so I can't. Oh, yeah. No, I'm, I'm, uh, I'm with you. I bought used phones. I'm just saying. Yeah. If you're an iPhone user, I, d- I thought that was like taboo. Is that why you're no longer in the iPhone club? Because you buy used iPhones? Pretty much. I mean, you got to be elite with an iPhone, so you got to go buy that baby brand spanking new. Yeah, you got to so pre-order it. Yeah, you, so you can peel the film off the screen yeah. when you take it right out of the box. It's like a new so car smell. That, and that's what you pay all that money for. Yeah. Although the price points drop now. so yeah. Interesting. iPhone has become mediocre. Yeah. So they're updating their map Maps app, and, and, and they're bringing an, an improved version of FaceTime and some more bells and whistles. And you'll be able to update to iOS 15 if you have an iPhone 6 or newer. And any of the model iPhone SEs and the most recent iPod Touch, this of course will be a free download. And if you like your phone the way it is, Apple says no problem for the foreseeable future. Hint, we're not we don't have a <laughs> deadline yet on when, <laughs> but they will still support iOS 14 with security patches. But as we found today, yeah. they'll support it. But you got to find it to update you gotta it. You got to find <laughs> and update it. Well, nice. I'm updated now. It's been a gosh, what what a sales yeah. deal. All right, so uh, you gonna do pros and cons, five star rating? Oh, I didn't review any. There oh, wasn't no. to <laughs> you're right on. Oh, so, so you're throwing the heat my way. You give Justin iPhone, a break. Thumbs down. <laughs> <laughs> you notice I did that right in Justin's line of sight. Thumbs yeah. down. <laughs> <laughs> we'll finish the bashing on Justin and his iPhone. <laughs> I was just trying to figure out how to work his uh, power bank into there, but it didn't. Yeah. It didn't take off very well. <laughs> So for those of you that aren't familiar, yeah, go back and uh, listen to one of our shows with Justin reviews his power bank. <laughs> 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 I'm yeah, so amused that, by that. that you you, you got to keep that power bank work. around just just for the comedic yeah. value of that. Yeah, if that, that thing ever dies, you have to bring it in here. We'll just put, put it on, it on the, the shelf. On shelf here. What do you mean? If it ever, if it is dead, he just keeps kicking it every once in a while <laughs> just to you know force some air in and out. But it's dead. Yeah, that's still breathing. We got it. We can't get rid of it yet. <laughs> Look, see it moved? Watch me kick it. <laughs> <laughs> it's got a life of its own. I moved it from shelf A to shelf B. <laughs> it lit up for a second while I had it plugged in. It's still good. Yeah, Yeah. next week we'll oh be boy. talking about uh, Apple's new power bank <laughs> with their fast charging feature of only three days to charge instead of a week. <laughs> Our phones are listening. We're all probably going to get ads on power banks. We're going to be like, these guys need power banks. Do you hear yeah. that? All right, oh, all right. yeah. Okay. Yes. Yeah, so, so, okay. Whoever gets the first ad for a power bank has to text the other two and say, hey, I got it first. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, screenshot yeah. it. Nice. All right. Well, Joe, it's if any... overall pretty good news this week. Yeah, yeah. I mean, yeah, that's, that's what Joe does. Joe yeah. comes in here and helps people out. That's what I like about it, you yeah. know. Especially and that was, that was the basis of the show 10 years ago when we started. It was like, hey, people need to know about technology updates and safety issues and you know, how can we help that? And Joe, you and Cena had the idea of we can do a show on it. And so we've done the show in for 10 years now on a variety of platforms. And I got to say, I think this one's pretty good. I like it best because you, you throw it out as a podcast. And you also, it's on our Facebook patch, Facebook page, right. which I really like. Right, and we have it on YouTube as well. So, I mean, we, yeah. we, we reach a lot of people. Yeah, and that's, that's what I really like. I mean, we're a small, close-knit community here, and anybody can go on our patch Facebook page and your Facebook page and uh, get technology updates that otherwise you'd never see, especially if you're someone like me that doesn't have TV or anything. Right. And I don't do a lot of social media, so I have no idea about what's going on except our weekly show. And, and we're starting to gain popularity because I, we started getting cyberbullied on one of our videos the other day. Yeah. And I laughed. Because we have a cyberbully now? Yeah. Yes, so you're legit if you have a cyberbully. Yeah. Yeah, because yeah, I, I got a notification that said, you have a comment on one of your videos. I looked at it and said, you are dumb. <laughs> and, and, it, and it was D-U-N-B. Yeah, so they were uh, talking to me. 
So then I looked, and it was like some eight year old kid was like, okay. <laughs> 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 yeah, my feelings are hurt. I'm, I'm heartbroken. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> because an eight year old kid doesn't think we're. We're cool enough. Yeah. And we're dumb. That's right. But, you know, <laughs> we're so fortunate to have you and Cena doing, uh, you know, your own independent business here in our community because people in Roan County and Spencer area can watch your watch our show once a week. And, you know, and this is the key point. I just texted probably 10 of my friends I know have iPhones and said update immediately. Yeah. And gave them the updates for the watch, the iPad, and their phone. So they'd know exactly which one and then followed it up with Justin's instructions on how to get there. Yeah. Because I know several of them are like, uh, how do you update? Right. I mean, they are iPhone users, so, you know. <laughs> can't expect a whole lot of them. <laughs> but, you know, all jokes aside, I mean, how valuable is that information? Because otherwise, I'd have never heard about it. Right. They probably would have never heard about it until right. it was already too late. Right. So, you know, you're pushing out great stuff there. And especially for our small community here that doesn't have accessibility to a lot of you know, people that are tech savvy. Well, and so. a lot of this tech stuff, it falls on deaf ears because a lot of this is a nerdy, what I quote, yeah, call yeah. nerdy stuff, yep. where it's interesting to me, but the general public, it doesn't really affect them, so it just goes, eh, yeah, that's nerd speak, we don't care. Well, that's what I mean. The people I push this out to, they're not ever looking at technology news. Right. They don't care. They're looking up whoever, uh, I don't know, whatever. Latest celebrity news or there the weather or local yeah. news Who, or... What celebrity has a political opinion now? Yeah. You know, anyway, that's a joke on celebrities <laughs> are so qualified to discuss politics. Yeah, yeah what B-list celebrity trying to bump themselves into <laughs> A-steps <laughs> by <laughs> having an opinion? Yeah, nice. Uh, okay, well, so if anybody needs to get a hold of you, talk about any of the stuff you talked about today, which is pretty iPhone heavy, uh, and of course TikTok, if anybody has any interest in that, and parents out there, my gosh, do a little Google search on the interweb about internet safety, yes, cyber safety, and look into our show where Joe talked about using Bark. Yes, and uh, and you guys are a rep for that. Yeah, we're we're an affiliate with Bark. So if you go to the uh, the website Bark us, use promo code AM Digital Tech, and you can get a free seven day trial. Nice, that is well worth it. As a parent, I have used it, still use it, and it is awesome. Yes. So, okay, Joe, if anybody has any questions, how they get hold of you. Give us a call at our office at 304-927-3588. Check out our website at amdigitaltechnologies.com or follow us on social media, which is really weird considering we've been sitting here bashing social media for the last <laughs> hour. <laughs> well, this is the part where you got to go find good social media. Right. So we're on Facebook, YouTube, and Twitter at AM Digital Tech for all that. And be sure to subscribe to the podcast, Help Desk with Joe and Dave. Yep. Leave us a five-star review. We're on all the major platforms, and all of our episodes are hosted by Anchor.fm. And if you need to get a hold of Justin, Justin, your cell phone, please. <laughs> <laughs> all right, well, that's our show for today. So thanks for joining us here. We're at the Patch Turned Up Studio in Spencer, West Virginia. And for myself, Joe and Justin, we're out of here until next week. Come back and join us with more technology news and information. And A&M Digital Technologies, make sure you check them out. Small business here in our community. Does work everywhere across the America. And we ship nationwide. Ship nationwide, you bet. All right, well, thank you, gentlemen. Everybody have a great week. We'll be back next week with some more good information. Oh, you know, I should say useful. We'll be back next week with more useful information. There you go. And, uh, and enjoy us and learn some more. So if you're an iPhone user, get that update going. Follow Justin's instructions. Yep. If you're not an iPhone user, congratulations. <laughs> <laughs> what well, well, must I yeah. had to throw that in there. <laughs> <laughs> Justin, you're welcome. <laughs> All right, everybody. Have a great week.